my name is Pauline Sugarman and welcome to the Stealth Beauty Gifting Channel. Today we're going to take the ferry into San Francisco and visit five of the most amazing chocolatiers. And because this is a gifting channel, it's true, I will be giving away some of these amazing chocolates. And I've created a map that's linked below, which you can download in either PDF or JPEG format, which gives the location and information for all five of these wonderful chocolatiers. This may look like a nondescript warehouse behind me, but inside is one of San Francisco's best chocolatiers, both their factory and store, the Fev Chocolate Factory. So let's go visit them. So I'm here with Tony at the Fev Chocolate Factory. Hi. <laughs> and she very kindly is going to um, tell us a little bit about the chocolates and then also give us a little tour of the factory, right? We are, yeah. So oh, what are Fev Artisan chocolates known for? Here at Fev, we go for bold colors and bold flavors. And look at the shine on those. Yeah. That's just amazing. Really amazing. We work very hard to get that shine, so that's very good to hear. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Tony, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is a selection of a few of our most popular products. Um, you can see right here the most noticeable one is the 42-piece Assorted. Uh, it's got... Uh, 21 unique flavors repeated, so there's two of each flavor in here. The one behind it is the 21 piece, and it has uh, 21 unique flavors, so there's only one of each. And um, what is in this? I see there's beautiful, glossy confections. Are those bonbons? Yes, so these ones are the molded ones I was talking about before. Um, you can see most of them are round or dome-shaped, but we've got this one here that is a uh, heart. Um, and that's actually our passion fruit heart in a dark chocolate shell. It's one of our most popular truffles. So popular, in fact, that we gave it its own nine-piece box oh, nice. right here of uh, passion fruit hearts only. Um, we also have a Valentine's Day collection that is nine-piece hearts, but they're all different flavors. And, of course, you can also order this one at Valentine's if you want just passion fruit. And, and how about the one that's underneath it? What's that one? This is another very visually striking, very popular collection. This is our nine-piece dome collection. And this is a mixture of white milk and dark chocolate ganaches and shells. This one uh, is seasonal. Uh, we really only have it during the holiday season. Uh, this is our cocktail collection. Hi, so we're in the factory now and Rebecca is about to cut the slab. Is yeah, this is a right chocolate here? ganache slab with a cherry patafouille on top, a cherry jelly. And that is our cherry vanilla truffle that's gonna get enrobed. And she is using a guitar cutter to cut it into perfect squares. almost 200 of these little squares from each slap that we do. Wow. So this is our cold room. It's where we keep finished products, nearly finished projects, and molds. Wow. Um, these right here are going to be ginger mango, and they're in this quenelle mold, and they look like this. Yeah. So yeah, again, this is uh, colored cocoa butter, yellow and orange with dark chocolate. Uh, yeah, over here we've got a whole rack full of the ganache squares that we saw before, uh, ready to be enrobed tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, so and then if somebody wanted to order these chocolates from Feb, where do they go to do that? Is there a website? Yes, you can go to our website, febchocolates.com, and order for delivery. You can actually order anywhere in the country. 
Um, you can come in here to our store at 2222 Palou in San Francisco, uh, or you can find a list of Bay Area vendors that carry our products. Okay. You might be able to find a location closer to you. Here we are at Rakuti Confections in San Francisco in the Ferry Building. Let's go in. All right, we are at the Rakuti Confections in the Ferry Building, and I'm here with Sean, and he's very kindly um, is willing to tell us a bit about the wonderful chocolates here. So, um, Sean, let's start, if you don't mind, by what inspired uh, Rakuti Chocolates to start their journey with these fabulous chocolates. Michael's background, uh, one of the owners, is in as a pastry chef, and chocolate's just something that he really loved working with. Um, so he and his wife Jackie started the company 25 years ago, originally started selling at farmer's markets uh, here in the city. And what did they start with first? Was it the uh, renowned caramels or what was their first? Do you recall? Uh, I believe Michael started originally with truffle work. The burnt sugar caramels that we're known for are for fleur de sel caramels. Uh, I believe started within the first year. It was uh, something that they were seeing, that Michael and Jackie were seeing in, in Europe, this salted caramel profile that really wasn't being done in the States, um, certainly not widely. So what are these, Sean, here? So they look really this, special. This box is what we call our Icons box. Um, it's eight pieces of our signature burnt caramel ganache. Um, but this particular box is a collaboration that we do with a local nonprofit called Creativity Explored. So money from this box goes back to the organization. And what kind of chocolates are these? These are the signature burnt caramel truffle. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for showing those. Yeah, so the champagne truffles are a seasonal item that we do. Okay. And again, in terms of keeping this local, we're using a uh, Schramsberg Blanc de Noir. They're up in Napa. Oh, so lovely. They're, they're local, super high quality sparkling wine. All right, what Sean is about to open up for us is the famous black box. So the black box has been on the New York Times best gift chocolate list since 2016. And you guys, this is an amazing box of chocolates here. I have given this as a gift before and everybody raves about it. it but the box is a 16 piece box. It's a pretty good representation of our truffle work. Um, both of our dark chocolate, our dark milk chocolate, two of the only white shells that we do, um, which are amongst our most popular pieces when we were doing singles. Um, and it comes with a great insert that makes it very clear exactly what pieces you're getting. It's one of the little details that we like to go for. So you always know what the piece is. Um, and everything in here is hand done. Um, you can see here and there, there's a mold that's used for shape, but things are largely like hand piping of the dot. Any of the transfer work are all hand applied. Are your chocolates made in San Francisco? Yes, everything's made here in San Francisco. This oh, great. One oh, of wonderful. the great things about this box, something like the lemon verbena truffle, a little bit unusual, um, but the lemon verbena comes from a local farm. Uh, that sells here at the Ferry Building Farmers Markets on Saturdays. Oh, that's so we great. Saw, we source local organic as much as humanly possible, um, but obviously quality of ingredient is also really key. And if somebody wanted to order this box, do they do that from your website? So yes, they can. There's a wide variety of stuff that's on the website, both stuff we have here in the store and some things that are unique to the website. at the Christopher Elbow store in the Hayes Valley. Now, technically this is not a San Francisco chocolatier because they do make their chocolates in Kansas City, but they are so tasty and delicious and beautiful that I wanted to include them on the five best list of San Francisco. So let's go in. So I'm here at Christopher Elbow in San Francisco with Amanda. Hello. And Amanda, um, can, what can you tell me about Christopher Elbow? Well, Christopher Elbow has been making wonderful confections for close to 20 years now. We are based out of Kansas City, Missouri. I just love your chocolates. I have given them as gifts before. What do you feel makes the Christopher Elbow chocolate stand out? 
Well, our products are still made by hand in relatively small batches, although obviously the, the size of production has increased over the years, given our popularity. Uh, we do enjoy pushing the envelope a little bit here and there with flavor combinations. Uh, Chris likes to innovate when possible and still maintain a nice traditional core of flavors, including our very popular fleur de sel caramel. Um, but some of our more unique combos or flavors would include our fresh lemon ganache, which is a sour lemon jelly with a uh, creamy white chocolate. That's we, one of my favorites. So, Lena, what are we looking at here? These are beautiful. So, these are some of our best selling flavors. On the left, we have our beautiful fleur de sel caramel. That's a very traditional sea salt infused caramel made with gray French sea salt and a dark chocolate shell. To the right of that, we have our fresh lemon. I mentioned this one before. It's a creamy white chocolate ganache with a tart lemon jelly. So, for people who like lemon meringue pie or lemon bars, that's a big treat. And then our tropical passion fruit caramel. And this one has a tangy tropical passion fruit filling with a white chocolate shell to give it a nice creamy backdrop as well. So as we mentioned, the fresh lemon, one of our best selling flavors, it is available in an eight piece box along with our eight piece fleur de sel collections. For the holiday season, our traditional signature boxes are tied with either brown or red ribbon for a more festive touch. And we do have, again, uh, limited edition collections of holiday-inspired flavors in 4, 8, 16, and 24-piece sizes. And then you also sell single source bars, is that correct? Yes, the single source bars are uh, a collection that we actually make in-house, so we refer, refer to those as our craft chocolate line. Where can people purchase if they want to purchase from you? Uh, do you have a website or how can people? Yes, our website is elbowchocolates.com. And I'll include your website uh, below and I'll also include it as part of the notes to this video so people will have that information. Thank you. Amanda, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate being a part of your list. This is a gifting channel and I'm looking forward to gifting to you some of these amazing chocolates. So hit the subscribe button below and when we hit a thousand subscribers you'll be able to enter to win the fabulous Rakuti Black Box. When we hit 10,000, you'll be able to enter again, this time to win from two of these amazing chocolatiers. And when we hit 50,000, it will be three. And when we hit 100,000 subscribers, you'll be able to re-enter once again, this time to win from four of these amazing chocolatiers. So thank you again for subscribing, and let's continue our exploration of the five best chocolatiers in San Francisco. We are in Noe Valley and we're just about to walk into Chocolate Covered. It is known around the world as one of the largest purveyors of high quality chocolate bars with over 800 to 1,000 chocolate bars in the shop. I am in Chocolate Covered with the co-owner Jack Epstein. And you focus mostly on high quality chocolate bars, is that right? Right. At the moment, um, I've lost count. Uh, the peak before the pandemic was about 1,248 different bars from more than 100 companies from more than 30 countries. Here as business has uh, increased again, I am bringing the inventory back up. So now there's well over 1,000, although I, I, I'm, I have no time to count everyone. Uh, but I'm sure there's well over a thousand bars and, and, and we'll be uh, continuing to add stuff uh, as much as I can squeeze it in here. So are um, your chocolates or some of your chocolates um, considered fair trade? Is that the cor correct terminology? That's one of the terms, fair trade. Uh, there's fair for life. Uh, there's a number of terms. Uh, several companies uh, do much better than the minimal fair trade. Uh, most of the people I deal with, the small companies in particular, they go down to the farms. They go down to the cooperatives. They, they're there on the ground. They see what's happening. And, 
and nobody here, if they don't pay a fair price, they're not getting the good beans. There's no business without quality beans. And they know, the people who are making chocolate these days know how much they need the farmers and how they need the farmers to do well and thrive. And almost all the people I have here are, are like that. What I'm looking at now is what I call the new table. These are lines of chocolates that are uh, relatively newly introduced to the store or newly restocked. They had maybe been gone for a while and are back. But these are all new bars. You're looking at bars from Italy, from France, from Washington State, from Sonoma County, from England on this table in particular. And then do you have a best seller? Well, in the world of the bars, the best seller is pretty much whatever I like, because a lot of people come in and just say, well, what do you like? Currently, there's a, a bar from a French company called Pralu, made from beans from Ghana, and I happen to like that particular flavor profile, which seems to me, uh, my taste, is uh, kind of fudgy and chocolatey. You'll see that it's a low stack here because I tell people I like it, and, and many people have agreed and come back and buy it regularly now. Uh, this one is uh, Francois Pralu, the Ghana beans, 75% cacao, which is, uh, right now, most of the bars here are between 70 and 80%. I carry a few good ones below 70, just below, yeah, and like 60. one of our major markets is uh, uh, 85 to 100. There's also, besides chocolate bars, we sell confections, which is, you know, items like toffee and caramel and nut clusters and things like that, and my favorite thing, and a lot of people's favorite thing. In this little store, we sell normally at least 40 pounds a month of it. And for December, I bought 100 pounds. And that's over here. And it comes from Santa Fe, from a company called Senior Murphy. I buy it in bulk and package it into three ounce bags, which we sell currently for $7. And it is a red chili and pistachio nuts in a semi-sweet dark chocolate. Oh. Really up front, you first taste the nut and the chocolate. And it's really wonderful. And then as you swallow a couple of times, the chili starts to open up on the back of the throat. And each batch is slightly different, and I taste it when it comes in. And all I want it to be is more than noticeable, but much less than hurtful. You're supposed to taste the chili. You're not supposed to turn to your friend and say, did you taste any chili? You're supposed to taste some chili, but it's never going to hurt you. Sounds... It's just supposed to warm you as you go. Jack, um, I understand you don't have a website for people to order on, but they can call you. Is that right? I'm not a computer guy. I don't want to spend my time at the computer. Um, but I'm happy to send anything to anybody. If you call me or email me, I will gladly put together your order. The post office is conveniently three doors away, and I've been known to get off the phone, pack it, and walk to the post office and ship it. Uh, domestically in the Bay Area, I usually get it the next day. Across the country, priority mails, two or three days. Uh, um, I will include your phone number, the phone number, and also your email address. Mm -hmm. And I understand when people contact you, you're going to ask them 20 questions. Yeah, we understand when, when people come in or they're exposed to this amount of selection, they sometimes just can't make up their mind. It's just a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. But with a few questions, we start out, did you want white milk or dark chocolate? Did you want how dark did you want it? Did you want anything in it? Um, are there any food allergies we have to wor uh, work around? Yeah, um, we just want to try to get it right. Great. It's not important for me to sell you the most, it's to show you the right thing. All right, here we are at the famous Dandelion Chocolate Store in the Ferry Building in San Francisco. Let's go in. So hi, I'm here at Dandelion Chocolate in the Ferry Building, and the company is one of the most amazing chocolate companies in San Francisco. And I'm here with... Chrisanna. Chrisanna? Chrisanna, what is the most popular um, item here for people to buy? Um, it really depends on the day of what's selling. A lot of the times, a lot of people will come in for the hot chocolate mix because they would like to make it at home. It could be any of like our wrap products. Like the table here has like a lot of wrap sets. The wrap um, things for Christmas. The wrap things, or people just like to give them for gifts. So it really depends on the day. Um, the bars will sell as well. Do you mind showing me the bars? So you guys are famous for your bars, right? They're single yes, source. Origin. We travel like all over the world. 
build great relationships with everyone we've worked with. And each one of these chocolates ha is a very distinct type of chocolate, right? Yeah, um, it, what different or sets them apart will be the regions they come from. Yeah. Every bar is still made the exact same. Our bars only have two ingredients, which is the cocoa beans and the cane sugar, and that's it. Yeah. They get their flavors from just the sun loving on the pods the way they want it to love on the pods. Oh, wonderful. So if I were to buy one chocolate bar, which one would you recommend? I would say Tamako Columbia. Tamako Columbia is it's a milkier bar without there actually being dairy in the bar. Oh, cool. Um, it's a nice mouthfeel. This also helped me get into dark chocolate. What else do you guys sell? What so else we are sell you? like cocoa nibs, which um, a lot of people will like to make their own chocolate with them to experiment and see what they can do. We do sell chocolate chips, which you can just use for snacking or you can choose to bake your own pastries. Yeah. And then what's this over here? So this here will be our hot chocolate files. These, oh. they're very, very popular. As you can see, the mix is gone. It, it never lasts that long. Okay. We do have three different hot chocolates that we offer to customers. Um, we will, of course, have the classic. We have the mission, which is my favorite. And oh. Then we wanted to bring something that a lot of people cannot get. So we have a Japan location. Oh. Their house hot chocolate will be the Hochicha, which is like a green tea um, yep. hot chocolate. So we like to have that option here as well. Wow. And then we just started the house mocha mix, so that's kind of popular right now. So, um, if there is there a website they can order from? Yes, dandelionchocolate.com is our okay. store. We will ship free over $20, I believe. Okay. So you can find anything that we have here or things that we may not offer in store as well. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. We have visited all five of the most amazing chocolatiers in San Francisco. There are other amazing chocolatiers in San Francisco, but I just didn't have time to include them in this video. If you guys are interested in seeing more of the amazing chocolatiers in the city, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Bye. If man is trouble, you best beware. And hold it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got your